Okay, we're going to uh, talk about back flexibility today. This time we're going to use these two to kind of help each other. So the first one is what I call a crab stretch. Um, lay on your tummy. And then Giselle's going to help my, my Leah. She's going to step over. She's going to grab her feet and she's going to pull them up. Now once she gets to a point, what we want Malia to try to do is push down through her quads. So push her quads and hips down and we're going to hold it. And we would hold it once again for about 30 seconds. Once uh, Giselle holds it, she's going to let them down slowly. And then Giselle's going to lay on her tummy and Malia's going to help Giselle out. Their feet will stay together. She'll grab them, pulling them up. Once again, holding all of our stretches for about 30 seconds. We want to make sure that the shoulders are staying close to the ground, and then we want to try to push down her hips to the floor. That's going to add it. So what's that doing is stretching the muscle, okay, and relax, and then lower down. Then it's going to kind of relax the muscle, so we're getting a nice good stretch. After that, we're going to go to the wall, and we're going to show you what a wall split looks like. All right, the final stretch for our back is what we call a wall split. I've got a chair here so you can do this at home. They're going to put their hands on the chair. They're going to take their legs. They're going to go splitting up the wall, get their legs straight. And what they use the chair for is the balance. And then once they get there, they can use it and try to push back with it. Holding it for 30 seconds. Awesome leg. We want to make sure that the foot is as close to the wall as we can. They might have to start back. You can see Giselle's foot there. It might be a little bit further away from the wall. Let's go to the other leg, ladies. This time try to put your foot as close to the wall as you possibly can. Okay? And you can see that these two ladies are really flexible. Okay? And we've got Malia whose foot's right on the edge. Okay? And she can push up. Alright? Or you can kind of come here and help a little bit more. Let go of the chair. And I can help pull up for it like that. Okay? This is great to help with their needles and their straight leg scorpions. So that's your final stretch for your back. If you do all these stretches three times a week, once again, hold them for 30 seconds, use a stop clock, your flexibility is going to get better over time. All right, the next one is a variation of the runner's lunge, but we're going to use a padded wall to help uh, drive the, the stretch a little bit better into the quadricep. So what Giselle wants to do is she wants to take her foot, she's going to put it all the way against the wall like this. She's going to start pushing through, okay? Now we want the chest to come up, and then we can even have her reach back for the box and really push in hard, trying to drive this muscle down to the ground like that. Hold it for 30 seconds. We're going to go ahead and go to the other side. Once again, this isn't being held for 30 seconds, but use your stopwatches or your, uh, your clock phones and things like that. Pushing the hips forward, try to drive that hip flexor to the floor, and we would hold for 30 seconds. Okay, once again, doing these hip flexor stretches and quad stretches at least three times a week. Incorporate all these stretches into one routine, which should take you about 20 minutes. All right, 